What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be modeling the Air Force Academy Chapel. So it's this cool looking chapel, it looks really kind of futuristic and Air, Air Force-ish. It actually looks like a bunch of F-117s kind of stacked together. That's of course the famous airplane that the Serbian army took down. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of national pride there. But anyway, so I'm going to be modeling this cool looking uh, building and it's it's quite an interesting shape. It's complex to model, but I think I figured out a way to kind of simplify the, the, the shape in Revit and make it easy to model. And before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, subscribe Subscribe if you haven't and follow me on social media and all of that good stuff. And now let's get into it. So here I am in Revit and I am just going to be using the architectural template for this project as I do for most projects. And uh, come on. And I like to set the units first so just type in UN and here change this to meters. Okay so once we have the units in place now it's time to kind of add some images and if I move this out of the way here you can see this is the the chapel that we have and I have this uh, section and the height is around 40 meters from here to here so that's going to help us determine the scale and here I've got a floor plan again it's just going to help us model the whole building so first I'm going to go here to south elevation and I'm just going to uh, just drag this image over into Revit and place it like that. Maximize Revit now and now go here for level 2 and let's change this from 4 to 40 so that's the that's the height and let's go with 1 to 200 scale just to make these kind of annotation elements a bit uh, bigger. And now just place this kind of kind of like this. You want the the bottom of the uh, the uh, this floor slab to be uh, on the level so that this works so now we'll scale it and for that you either go over here to scale or you type in RE and you go with a graphical scale so I'm just going to click somewhere over here then uh, move to this top point and then move all the way up okay so we have that and uh, while we're here I would like to add a level kind of, uh, sorry, not a level, uh, a grid. So just go here to grid or type in GR for grid and place just like this, a vertical grid. And then you kind of zoom in and use the, either the move command or the arrow keys kind of to, to, to notch it in place just to make it in the middle of the building. Anyway, and then uh, do a couple more. So GR and actually let's do one more over here, kind of like that and then move it all the way to the kind of to the corner of the building over here and then we're just going to mirror this around so just double M for mirror uh, with pick access option but anyway so as you can see over here now we've got everything is in place and we can go to the floor plan and let's just go to level one and uh, it will be bigger than this so let's just in preparation let's move this these out of the way like that and go to this kind of circular thing and this circular thing here and extend these uh, grid lines just a bit and now let's add a floor plan so you can either go like that uh, like the, the, the floor plan or sorry uh, the elevation you can kind of just paste it like this into Revit paste the image or you can go here into insert and then go image desktop and this is the floor plan so if you don't have it on your desktop you have it in some folder perhaps this is maybe an easier way to to get to that file but anyway let's rotate this first so let's just go like that and uh, let's move it a bit over here kind of like that and let's scale it so again RE for scale you go again with the graphical scale you go from this part to the end part and you move it to the other uh, grid line and there you go so we have our floor plan here maybe move it up a bit just to kind of have it centered around this uh, whole, whole model that we have okay but anyway now it's time to start uh, making the shape and the shape will be an in place uh, mass so we need to go to massing and site here uh, turn mass on or show mass on so you toggle it on and when you have these floors now you can't see it now we can see the mass and now we can go to in place and let's just call it mass one who cares and 
actually before that let's just cancel out of this let's add some grid lines so uh, let's do a grid line like this kind of like that and uh, let's move it yeah let's move it like that or yeah maybe we can do over here yeah this works and once we have this one uh, then I'm just going to kind of copy it and copy it here kind of like that so this works I guess and then mirror it to the other side okay so we have something that looks like this so we're going to be starting from this element over here and then we're going to be building upon that so again it's a complex shape and let's start with an in place mass so you go here in place mass mass one let's go okay so first uh, we need to create a uh, work plane on which we're going to be building our our first kind of uh, angled element and if I take this picture as you can see now we need to do these two triangles so this one over here and this one over here so let's do that first one and then we're going to be copying that or mirroring it to the other side uh, copying it once and then do this middle part and then again mirror copy mirror copy and you're done and if that doesn't make sense now it will make in a few minutes so anyway go to south elevation so you need to be here and now we need to create a reference plane on which we're going to be modeling the the, the first shape so you need to go here to plane or reference plane or use the shortcut RP if that's what you prefer and then go from this part part to this top part and now I usually like to extend it just a little bit. I don't like reference planes to go like lines. And anyway, let's just call this A, who cares? And let's do another one. And this one should be perpendicular to this one. Actually, that's the only reason we had this reference plane A because we need a perpendicular reference plane. And let's call this one base because this is the, this is actually kind of the, the I guess you would look at it as a floor plan for this uh, shape because it's kind of at a weird uh, angle but anyway let's go back into a level of one and uh, yeah let's go from here so what we're going to be doing now is go to model line and here you're going to go from draw on face to draw on work plane because we already have a work plane and then let's set the work plane to pick by name and then go to base and hit OK. So you're now working with this base work plane. As you can see, it's kind of over here, but uh, planes are basically infinite. So it doesn't matter if you're drawing here or somewhere over here, it will be draw on, drawn on this uh, work plane. But anyway, let's go here. And I'm just going to do one line like this, kind of just going straight to this line over here at 90 degrees, as you can see over here. So kind of like that, and as you can see, we can't see that line, and that's okay, don't worry. And then do another line, kind of going from here, or maybe from here, this would be even better, or no, let's go, uh, let's go from here, yeah, from this angle, and you go at 45 degrees, so that's the important part, go at 45 and just go like this, just say in kind of almost to the other grid line size and once you've done that you can't really see anything until you go into 3d so you see this so this is what you've created and the important part is this 3.36 is the distance between your two grid lines and this is at 45 degrees so you need to go kind of 45 like this and to get that you just uh, select this you go DM for draw mirror and uh, we need to set the work plane what's going on Okay, this needs to be set to base, and then select this, DM for draw mirror, okay, here we go. And you just go like this perpendicular, so you now have kind of the, the place where this line should end, and this is kind of your first uh, kind of angled line. So you just go trim and extend here, and then you can pretty much delete this line and this line as well, because you only need this one, this is the, the one that you're going to be modeling on. Anyway, now you go to create form and you just hit create form and you get this uh, kind of line and you extend it. So this is basically the surface and now what we've got is this surface over here. So it's not three tri uh, two triangles, it's just kind of a blank surface like this at a correct angle that we wanted. So we've got that in place. So that's the important part. So you kind of extend it like this 
and maybe you go to south elevation you see where is it it's over there uh, maybe extend it like a bit over here or no let's go let's actually select it and go into level one yeah it looks like it's in place yeah okay it looks all right I, I thought it would be wrong for some reason uh, but anyway let's go into south elevation okay so what we're going to do is going to extend it just a little bit like this and now of course as you can see we can't see this part and that's okay so you can extend this upward maybe extend this line so it's kind of almost on this reference plane okay this works now and uh, now you go into uh, wireframe just so we can see better the the shape behind and now what you need to do is you need to go set work plane pick a plane go OK and pick this plane that you created over here this surface and you just select it and you go with lines so uh, make sure again that draw on work plane is selected that's the one that you want to have because we've selected this work plane and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you start modeling so you go from here and make sure you kinda get almost to the center line yeah I think this will work you go down a bit you get to this point and then you start creating the triangle you go to the to the end of the line you go to here and then you go here to the to the end okay and if we go into 3d this is what we get okay so we've got this part that's the important part and then we can delete this line well we can delete any, everything pretty much and now go again into model line and uh, turn on 3d snapping and now you can go here to draw on face and you need to draw two lines one like this and then one like this and then you select these three go create form make sure to go with surface and if you can't see the surface go here to maybe shade it and now you can see that it's actually a surface and do the same thing for this one down here create surface okay this works okay and actually we're almost done this is the the hardest part so now if we go into maybe south elevation you can say this is there and if we go into level one okay if you if you go into level one you can see kind of it's moved off uh, to the side but again that's okay you go into 3d let's uh, open 3d up you select this thing you go back into level one you go mv for move and kind of move it from here to here and let's see okay uh, uh, the problem was we were on the wrong work plane so let's set the work plane to uh, level one okay go into 3d select everything again level one mv okay hopefully this will work now okay it isn't working but anyway uh it, it doesn't have to work like this you can also go to uh let's see just a second let's go to site plan yeah we can see everything here so you basically select all of these you go to mirror and you mirror around the middle axis and now if we go into 3d this is what we get so we've got this basic triangular shape now for some reason you can't really uh, copy this or move it around so what you need to do is you need to go to uh, maybe site plan or something like that select everything uh, and just go DM for draw mirror you go to one of these outside points and then just pull it off like this and now you have kind of the this main part so let's go into 3d and now you need to do some connecting so let's go here with uh, model lines 3d lines and connect this one with this one and this one with this one and now you need to select this line this line and how I, se I select them I just hover over this hit the tab once select it again you go over here hit the tab once hold control select again hit the tab once hold control select and then you go create form and if it doesn't allow you to create form uh, th that's okay we just need to kind of let's delete this and let's do everything again so let's do a line like this okay and let's select this and go create form and again let's do this triangle and as you can see now this is a surface and you need to do the same thing over here now let's see will this work 
without creating a new lines over here on the side. So let's go create form. Okay, this works. And as you can see, if I hover around, this is now a surface and just repeat the same process. Process, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, for this part over here. And just create, create form. And for this, it won't work for some reason. Let's see, maybe it will work now. Yeah, those are the lines. Come on, okay, it doesn't work. So again, you need to do this just by uh, lines. Okay, and now let's select this. Okay, there you go. And we've got our triangle. So we've got all of these uh, elements. So now we, it's just a matter of copying them around or actually not copying them around. You can't copy these. You need to mirror them. So you go to maybe West Elevation and then you select kind of like this half of this thing and then you kind of remove parts from selection that's the only way you can do this really so you kind of go like this yeah kind of like that and then you mirror it on the other side let's see in 3d does that did that work yes it did and again now you can select maybe these parts along with these surfaces and again go to west elevation mirror around this axis yeah that worked so you just kind of go like that mirroring everything because copy doesn't work or can't work for this kind of a project so let's do this one here again go to west mirror around there you go and let's do maybe one more just to make it long enough to make it look like the real one and let's select these two triangles again. West elevation, MM for mirror pick access. And there you go, okay, this looks nice. Go to south elevation, select, uh, okay, go into 3D first. Yeah, select everything, go now into south elevation, DM, and then you can draw mirror around this axis. Wait for a second because it's a lot of elements. But if we go into 3D, you can see we've got pretty much the whole building done. And you just hit finish mass and you're done with your horrible <laughs> mass that's hard to construct. And now we need to uh, actually turn this into some walls. And to do that, you just need to go here to uh, massing and sight. And you can either use the roof tool, but the problem roof tool won't work on the surfaces like, okay. Uh, see this triangle over here, uh, uh, roof tool probably won't work there because it's uh, vertical and that doesn't work, roof doesn't work on vertical elements and here we need to add some triangles but that's okay, I'm going to do that later on. But anyway, go to massing and site and you just use wall and let's use the generic 200 and then unfortunately you have to click on each one so I just go crazy like this and in the end you're left with the whole uh, kind of finished chapel. But anyway, that's it for this uh, project. And if you want to get this project file, you want to download it and use it to, for something or just to figure everything out, uh, you, you can go to my Patreon, first link in the description, so you can download the project file. If you go for only like $5 a month, you'll get this project file as well as all of my project files so far, I've got over 130 Revit files on there. But anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.